Spider Crusaders, welcome back to our special COVID-19. The battle continues. You know, we're all thinking about and praying for our uh, frontline workers, and there's a lot of them, and a lot of people, uh, I think people are having a greater appreciation for who are always keeping our country moving, and I think no one fits that bill more than our truckers. I used to have a radio show on Sirius XM Patriot, and almost all of our listeners were truckers. And that's where I got my appreciation. And every time I go into a grocery store, it's been this way for years, uh, I think of all the people who, who drove them, drove all the things we're looking at to that store nonstop every day. I've never gone to a grocery store, except the last few weeks, and uh, not been stacked with food, just jam-packed always. And I'm like, how does that happen? Who does that? It's our truckers. And they're keeping our country moving throughout this as well. Desiree Ann Woods, she's the president of Real Women in Trucking. Ms. Wood, how are you? I'm doing good. Thank you for inviting me. My pleasure. So first of all, give us a scope. Let's do pre-COVID. Can you give people a scope of how important truckers are, are to our country? Truck drivers are what really are what keep America running. Uh, in the truck driver community, it's pretty well known that truck drivers could turn off this country in three days time with the turn of a key. And that is something the public really has never been aware of until this pandemic. Now they actually see what that means. And it's so important that we recognize these invisible workers because they're, they make magic every day when you walk into wherever you shop and there's things right there for you to buy at your convenience in your neighborhood. You don't have to drive to a rail yard and pick it up. You know, now people are starting to realize where does that stuff come from that's in the store. Uh, in the end, in the end, if people have a greater appreciation for truckers and that process, which is a miracle, it's unbelievable how it happens flawlessly all the time. It really is. Um, and now yeah. we're seeing some slight disruptions and people are freaking out, but goodness. Um, okay, so what are some of the uh, hurdles that truckers are facing throughout this COVID pandemic? Well, the, the truck drivers, uh, many of them that are company drivers, they are not paid for waiting. They're only paid to drive. So there's a lot mm. less traffic. So that's nice. They're not sitting in traffic. Um, when they're, you're getting paid by the mile, and when this is a thing that affects drivers. And after this crisis, I hope people will support modernizing the way truck drivers are paid. Getting paid by the mile when you're sitting to load or unload sometimes can take 10 hours sometimes can take five hours. So that's all unpaid time for a lot of these company drivers. So I posted a picture of a line of uh, trucks outside the gates of, I think Procter and Gamble waiting to load toilet paper when this all began. That line is probably gonna keep those drivers there for about maybe five hours. I've talked to drivers who had to stay overnight. Their, their load was supposed to be ready today and then they had to stay the night and it won't be ready till four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's all unpaid time. The other yeah. thing is a lack of, um, they don't have a lot of access to shopping either. There's very few places they can park to shop. So not only are the places that they usually can park cleaned out and they can't shop either, the truck stops, people are going to the truck stops and cleaning those shelves out. So they're having difficult times getting hand sanitizer, masks, um, bleach, um, wipes, uh, things to clean down. And they're also um, being forbidden to use bathrooms at a lot of the places. In the mm. first couple of days, we were starting to see truck stops wanting to close their showers. Fortunately, um, the, the FMCSA, the regulating body, over trucking uh, wrote a letter to the truck stop um, lobby and said, you know, we're all in this together. You guys need to help out. So we are seeing some of the showers reopening, but still the food services closed real early, drive through wow, service only, and no uh, tractor trailer can fit through um, the, the window. So that was an issue. 
trying to get them to realize the driver's going to have to walk up to the window. You have a policy against that. What's our solution? So uh, every day okay. we're having to overcome these um, these hurdles that pop up because people don't really think about truck drivers. Um, they think about yeah. you know delivery and drivers. Tr truck drivers mm -hmm. need to be considered frontline Absolutely. workers and prioritized as much as doctors and nurses. I don't know if some people find that controversial or not, but uh, we've said a million times, I think the three most important things of keeping social stability throughout all this is electricity, water, and food. And if food yes. and essential goods can't get places, then that's, that's not gonna work. And that's gonna create a lot of problems, maybe even worse problems than the, than the virus itself. Flight Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe, we got plenty.